guys and welcome back to part number 14 of Let's Play The Sims 3 All-in-One. So, you guys don't know this, but I had a very big scare before I started this part. I had lost my game. I don't know where it had gone. But then I finally realized, because it wasn't showing up in my saves or anything. It was in my saves folder, but it wasn't showing up in the game. And I know I got rid of a bunch of custom content previously. And I happened to be like, oh, well, maybe Legacy Island isn't even available in my game. And thankfully, I checked and saw that I had accidentally uninstalled it when I did go through my custom content. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and reinstalled it, and my game showed right back up. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad big of a scare I mean it was scary because I thought I was gonna have to end this and be like oh my god I lost the game I don't know how to fix it blah 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 long story short I got it fixed and I have it going and recording for you guys and I have made the decision to go ahead and have Don change his lifetime wish and career he has enough to do it. I don't know what we're going to do right now. What's his skills? Flirty, slaw, vehicle, party animal, and athletic. So maybe we can do the athletic career for him. I don't know. Because I just feel that like uh, singing and acrobats and all that are really for easier to do. Not Well, not even to say easier. They're better to do as a single sim, not a family sim. So if they are single, have no spouses or children or anything, I think it's pretty much easier to complete that lifetime wish or career when you have a single sim. And since they are in a family, I don't think it's going to be able to work for Don. So I think I'm going to have to go ahead and have him quit his job. So let's actually go ahead and look and see what kind of lifetime wishes he has that we can use or change. Okay, so let's go ahead and do where is it change lifetime wish for 10,000 and what else okay so it does look like he wants to be a superstar athlete and acrobat which you're not doing mr romancer no you have a family uh secret agent hmm. that could be fun um because he has the athletic skill i think it would be easier for him to go ahead and uh jump on farther but i really don't think a lot of people have done the secret agent um, hmm, I think we'll go ahead and do which one, which one, um, uh, use logic, uh, um, I did say I wanted him to do an athletic since he is an athletic trait sim, and it's not that inconvenient to do. I know what this with the law enforcement you have to do law enforcement you have to uh, um, write reports and all that so maybe we can get them a computer and do that I think we'll do that one we'll do the level 10 of the law enforcement career okay so change that so let's get rid of these and join the law enforcement career so we're gonna go ahead and have him use his phone and uh, jobs and quit work Actually, not even that. We'll just go ahead and go over to the police station and just apply and then quit after that. Okay, so where is the police? Right here at City Hall. Okay, so police station, uh, what was it? Law enforcement, huh? Okay, so law enforcement career. So he'll go do that and switch up his job. And if you guys do remember, we are playing by the 100 baby rules. So as soon as uh, Jenny learns how to walk and talk and go to the bathroom, we can go ahead and age her up. This is only because, if you guys have not seen the last video, this is only to speed up the process since Sims 4 is now out. And you guys have pretty much seen a lot that has gone into Sims 3. And if you've played it for yourself for the past, what, five years it's been out or something like that? Pretty sure it's been five years. Um, 2009? Yeah. Uh, then you pretty much know all there is for Sims 3, and this is just basically a showcase of what you guys already know. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do as much as we can in a certain amount of time, because 
just to reiterate, reiterate, I want to, um, I want to try and get as this done by the time the first expansion pack of The Sims 4 comes out. Okay, so it looks like Down's going to join a law enforcement career, and she's just gonna go ahead and throw that out. Does she know how to go to the bathroom already? Let's see. Um, uh, yes, she does. Okay, so we're gonna have her do that, and then Kendra can come up here, uh, change her diaper for hygiene, and what does she want to do? Teach her to walk? Okay. So you can go ahead and teach her to walk. And the sooner this we get this done, the sooner uh, Kendra can go back to just focusing on her diving. And it looks like we are off for the next two days since we already passed 10 a.m. today. Okay, so we won't be working until Monday, and yes, we will quit our job. Okay, so Don Lothario finally worked up his courage to quit his job. Uh, he soon, he won't soon forget getting so fed up that he just couldn't stand his job anymore. Okay, and he now works as a snitch, so he'll need to be there at 9 o'clock on Monday. His boss is Constance Lopez. Having a good relationship with your boss could never hurt. Okay, so let's see if her boss is here. Um, where are you, where are you, where are you? Oh, is that our partner? Okay, and we actually have to be good friends with, oh, not yet. We do have to be friend, uh, have a good logic skill. So let's, what does he want to do? Chat with Kendra and learn the logic skill. So we'll have him go ahead and just travel on home. And do we have, oops, do we have a chess table? No. So I guess we can go ahead and throw a chess table right down in here and he can just hang out here and work on his logic skill. Okay, so let's go into buy mode. And then I think we'll go ahead and buy him a, um, what's it called? A, uh, multi-tab. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy a Don a multi-tab just so he can go ahead and listen to some, uh, um, what are they called? Podcasts. Okay, so we'll do that, and then computers, uh, multi-tab one, and multi-tab two. Okay, let's go into live mode. And we'll pause the game real quick, and give one to Kendra, and give one to Don. So when he comes home, he can go ahead and uh, listen to a logic tab cast, and practice chess. So he can go ahead and work on that for us. And then we're just gonna speed up this process a little bit and see how much we can get done before she gets tired of this. Okay, it looks like she's learning actually pretty fast. And when does she age up? Okay, so technically she ages up in five days and I'm pretty sure with the rate we're going at, we should be able to age her up probably tomorrow, hopefully. So we can go ahead and send her to school so Kendra can go ahead. Maybe we'll get her pregnant again. I don't know. Maybe in a due's time. Because when does she age up? In five days. Okay, so when she turns into an adult, maybe we'll go ahead and have them uh, try for yet yeah, another baby. So it looks like Don is actually getting hungry. So we're going to go up here and we're just going to have him go ahead and eat a quick meal of green salad. And then he can go ahead and clean that and use the toilet. Okay, let's speed through this. She's almost done. Maybe what happened? Okay, she has to use the bathroom. That's fine. So Don can stay home and we can have Kendra uh, go to the bathroom. And uh, let's have her see where she can dive yet. Can she dive over here? No, not yet. What level is she? She is a level five. So let's see what other ones we can do. And it's, I know it seems like we have been doing a lot of just scuba diving and, um, actually, you know what? We're not gonna scuba dive. 
we are not going to do that. We are going to go ahead and have her... Ooh. Okay, so there's fish we can sell. Oops. A black goldfish. An alley catfish, excuse me. I apologize about that. It's gross. Okay, and I think... What can we have Kendra go do today? We can let Don take care of... Um... Little Miss, uh... Jenny. He can take care of her for today. That is a-okay. And maybe... Should she go make some nectar? Hmm. What can we have her do? What does she want to do? She wants to look for diving work and teach her all this stuff. But... I think we're going to have her... Where can she go? I guess we can go ahead and explore with the nectary. And let's go see if she wants to make some nectar. After she's the bathroom, of course. He and he's eating. And he should be fine. Okay. Hey, a little laggy, but we can deal. We can deal with that. Okay, so we are over at the nectary. If it wants to load, that would be amazing. Who's that? Mary Sue Pleasant? Oh! Oh, I was gonna say, dang girl, those are some eyebrows you got on there. Okay, where's our nectary stations? Are they up top? Um, no, where are they? I know they have the nectar stations. What's the point of being a nectary if there's no nectar making? Or is it in the basement? There we go. That's better. There's actually a computer. Is this a... Is there a secret tomb down here? Let's go ahead and have her go through this door. I guess we can go ahead and just search this tomb, because I'm guessing it is a tomb. I mean, that's world adventures kind of stuff right there, so it looks like you guys are going to get a little taste of what there is to come when we actually travel. Ooh, so there is some stuff over here. Oh my gosh. What's over here? Okay, let's just go through. Let's go through this door and see what's down here. This would be amazing if we found some tra- and there's nothing. Okay, so go through this door. I would laugh if we're doing all this and there's nothing over here. Okay, and nothing there. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a guess and say that there is absolutely nothing here for us down here. Okay, so it looks like it's not spoiling anything for you guys for when we travel in World Adventures, so we can explore some tombs. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. This is literally a waste of time. Oh, wait, never mind. What's this plaque say? Uh, read the plaque. Let's see what it says. Okay, close until further development. Okay. Oh. What is that? Okay, so it has an inspect sign. So is there a mysterious wall right here? Hmm. What's here? Is gonna find something? When we actually find something in the nectar? I hear something. Okay, pal's become a very special toy. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need to worry about the imaginary friends right now. Okay, so she found a hidden door. Okay, so open it up and let's see what's through this door real quick. Okay, tombs are riddled with hidden doors. Um, this really isn't a tomb because there's been nothing here for us. Unless we magically find something in this room. It could always happen. Ooh, there's a lever we can pull too. Come on, Kendra. You can do it. You can do it. Get on in there. Get on in there. Oh my gosh, you guys. There, There's actually something in here. Is there more to inspect? No, no, no. 
No, okay. So it looks like there's nothing else here, so let's go ahead and open this chest. Okay, so it turns out we actually are getting something from this. So you guys have a little sneak peek of what is to come when we do travel, as I said before. Okay, so we got some coins and some other stuff. Okay, and some loud music. Uh, Kendra Thario's opened a treasure chest and 77 coins. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this up. Stop playing the music, please. Very annoying. So we're chopping away at this, gaining some athletic skill while we're doing it. Okay, and then we can actually go home and go ahead and eat something and take a shower. Come on, Kendra. Okay, so there was literally nothing. Okay, can you get anything from these? No. There is nothing in here. Okay. So I guess we can go ahead and have her go home. And Don, stop working out, please. And take care of Miss Jenny. What is it? She's getting hungry and she's tired. So Don, go ahead and feed her on the floor. Then you can go ahead and listen to your logic skill again. And then we can go ahead and have you uh, practice some, some more chess for us. And let's just get this skill on the road so we can just be ahead of the game for when we have to go to work on Monday. Okay, so he's taking care of her. And when she comes home, we're going to have her have, have some garden salad. And then go on up and take a clean shower and then take a nice good shower. Okay, and Jenny should be fine for when he, or for when she's done, she can go ahead and put Jenny in her crib. Okay, so we're going to speed this up a little bit. And how much longer do we have? Just a few more minutes. Okay, so this should take up just enough time to finish off this part. Who knows? So Don has reached level three of his logic skill. Thank you, Lord. Okay, and she's just gonna go ahead and she wants to learn how to make nectar. So I guess we can go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, never mind. She wants to order pizza now. Uh, congratulate Tanji on what? There's nothing to congratulate her on. I mean, what? Does she have a child? Did she get married? What happened to her? It's not like they don't tell us, do they? Uh, yep. Sim wants to deliver a wedding. Congratulations. Okay, so we're going to do that. Go ahead and send her back to sleep. And Don, you have to go ahead and eat. So, uh, eat, uh, eat some cereal. That's like, who's that? Paparazzi, probably. Okay, so we can do that. And have you go ahead and use the toilet and go to sleep as well. And he wants to reach level four. So as soon as he reaches that fourth level, we can go ahead and have him go to take care of himself. And I'm guessing it's going to be a while, so let's just go ahead and get rid of that. And have him go to bed. We'll follow him for a little bit. And someone really needs to clean this, uh, this sink. It's disgusting. It is gross. And she never went to the bathroom, it looks like. It's like they're not letting her bladder go back up. I don't know what that is, but... Let's hope it fixes itself. Okay, I'm going to take a drink real quick, you guys. Oh, my mouth is getting dry. Okay. So I think we're going to go ahead and just move those right there real quick. Okay. But I think we're going to go ahead and end this part right here. It's been a very enjoyable part. And I actually got to give you guys a little sneak peek as to when we start traveling. Probably right after we have our second kid, they can go on a vacation real quick. And we could go to a new, actually a Sims town because we do have the Traveler mod in. Or we can actually go to one of the original three 
towns that came with World Adventures, which would probably be one of those. And I really, I haven't actually experienced Egypt all the way, so I think we'll probably go there. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or if you've seen a couple of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That does mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys all in the next part. Bye, guys.